Hi, in this video we are going to talk about different flight modes and also we are going to give you a practical overview of them. So let's get started. In the stabilized flight mode, the roll angle, pitch angle, yaw angle and even our throttle is controlled manually by our transmitter. So we have to control our throttle by our transmitter, even yaw angle, roll angle and the pitch angle. So to fly a drone in this flight mode, you need to have a great experience in flying drone because here everything is manually controlled so beginner pilot can do error in this flight mode. In the altitude hold flight mode, roll axis, pitch axis and the yaw axis is manually controlled but our throttle is automatically controlled. So in a mission planner software, you have to set your throttle takeoff at 50%. When you set this value at a 50%, you have to push your throttle stick up to a 50%. After that only your drone will take off. And if you will pull down your throttle less than a 50%, your drone will start landing. But up to a 50% throttle, your drone will not take off. And if you maintain your throttle at a 50%, your drone will try to maintain its altitude. In this flight mode, the barometer sensor of flight controller is used to control the height of our drone. Now open your mission planner software, connect it to a Pixop flight controller or any other flight controller that you are using. And connect on the mission planner software, go to the configuration option and then go to the standard parameter options. Then search later and you will get an option of throttle dead zone. This setting allows you to make the throttle zone dead means up to 100 PWM or up to 100 value of the signal, your throttle will be dead. This is usually used in the lower flight mode, altitude hold flight mode. In a lighter flight mode, we must have a GPS in our drone because in lighter flight mode, GPS is mandatory. The GPS uses our geostationary satellite signals to maintain the position of our drone. However, the altitude control of our drone is usually like an altitude hold flight mode means a barometer sensor is used. But the position of our drone is controlled using our GPS signal. In this flight mode, our drone also uses the external compass which is attached in our external GPS as well as the internal compass which is attached in our flight controller. Now here you will see an option of lower horizontal maximum speed. So at what maximum speed your drone will travel horizontally, you can decide here. It gives up to an option of about 35 meter per second means your drone can travel up to a speed of 35 meter per second or you can lower your speed.
The land flight mode is used to land our drone. The land flight mode can be controlled by us using a mission plan software means we can control at what speed the drone will descend or land. This flight mode does not require a GPS. When the drone will reach ground, it will put its motor off and then disarm. If the pilot throttle is down, but if the throttle is up or is more than a zero, then it will not disarm automatically. This land speed option in the mission plan software allows you to adjust the landing speed of your drone. You can have the maximum speed of landing of your drone that is 2 meter per second or you can have the minimum speed that is 30 centimeter per second.